Hi everyone, Gemma here. Thank you for watching today. All this week I'll be sharing Halloween projects. So as well as the videos on YouTube, you can also see other inspiration on my Facebook and Instagram page. So today I'm going to be making the Witch's Hat gift box by Simply Made Crafts. So I'll go through the items I've die cut off camera. So I'm going for a pink and black theme. So I've die cut the larger circle in pink, the smaller in black, two pieces of this in black cardstock, eight pieces in pink cardstock. These three items here are all um, in black cardstock and I die cut them eight times. And then the buckle in pink, but I may change that. Uh, I'm just gonna see how it turns out. These two pieces are for the bottom of the hat. I'm just going to glue those together. Next, I have my eight pieces and I'm going to fold and burnish on the score lines. Next, I'm going to take the octagon piece and I'm going to start to adhere these. Now you could do it in two ways. You could do it on the outside here and on a flat surface, which I think I'll probably do. And then, or you can do it over the top, like folded that way. So it's entirely up to you. I'm going to use my quick grab glue. So now that I've attached all the tabs, I'm going to start to form the shape of the gift box. So I'm just going to put um, quick grab glue here on this tab and stick them together and, and follow it around. So on the last one here, I've added glue on this tab and also on the tab here. And I'm going to stick them at the same time. If you're sort of struggling on the last piece to get your hand in there, use your bone folder. So you've got something to press against. So that forms the bottom of the treat section. I've die cut an extra piece to glue over the top here to hide those tabs um, and it'll also strengthen it but you don't necessarily have to have this piece you could just um, add glue to this section here and put it straight on the hat. And now I'm going to attach it to the base of the hat. So 
so I'm happy with that position I've used my bone folder just to help me um, add some pressure to the cardstock and I'm going to set that aside so next I'm going to work on the outer section of the hat so I have eight pieces of this panel and eight pieces of this so the first thing I'm going to do is trim off the bottom tab and the reason for this is Helen created a versatile die so you have two options with this you can either make it into a gift box um, which I'm doing or you could just have a hat so you were to use this tab just to adhere to the bottom of the hat base so I'm going to trim off the tab fold and burnish on this tab line while I have a flat surface I'm going to adhere this to the top of here I'll just pop it on high speed and I'll come back to the assembly part So now that I've prepped my panels, I'm going to start to assemble. So I'm going to add a quick grab glue along the tab here. And then I'm lining the next piece up. I like to flip it over and use my bone folder just to help it along. So I'll carry on gluing the additional tabs. So now that I've formed this fan shape, I'm going to add quick grab, quick grab glue to the last panel here and wrap it around and stick it to this and then that forms the shape of the hat. So then that fits over the top there. a bit large to fit it all on camera but I'm quite pleased with how that turned out was my first attempt so I've got eight pieces of this tab here I'm going to fold and burnish the tab add quick grab glue and work my way around the same as I did with the hat So as I'm working my way around, I'm holding the tab and adding pressure here while adding the glue and this piece. So to finish off, you add glue here and close the octagon shape up. But before I do that, I'm going to add the buckle. I did change my mind on this and went for holographic cardstock. So 
I'm just going to add glue to the tab here. Put some pressure on it to hold it in place. And I'm just going to add a little bit of glue on the back of this buckle. So that also stays in place. There we go, so you just pop that over the top. So that's the finished hat. I really like it, I think it's such a cool die set. So I'm gonna pop some shredded paper in there and some treats. So for more information, details can be found in the description box below. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you'd like to see more 3D projects, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching today. Bye.